Hello everybody, this is Chris. I know I haven't made a video in a while, and I know a lot of you uh, probably have not seen the uh, haircut. So, yeah. Not really what that's about today. Why is my alarm going on? That's embarrassing. Alright, now that my alarm's done going off, because I've been awake for two hours, um, I want to try to settle the big axe ether debate. Now, I know I'm one person. Uh, I appreciate the fact that a lot of you are going to go and do your own research on this. I encourage you all to go do your own research on this. But, um, I've done, I've looked a lot, get out of here, you little fuck. I've looked a lot at the axe and the ether, and, uh, you know, kind of partial to empire. This has nothing to do with being partial to Empire, but Empire, I started out everything Empire with me. Everything Empire. So, kind of partial to them, but I think the Axe, you know, yeah. We got the Axe, you know, everyone knows that watches my YouTube channel. I have completely, you know, done almost everything I can with my Axe to make it nice. Well, not to make it nice. This thing comes nice. But I've, I, you know, I'm the kind of person when you get a gun, I want to put everything on it. You know, I got my... 16 inch freak, I got my OLED board, I got my uh, boss bolt, I got my virtue eyes, I got everything in here. But, uh, enough about that. I've spent too much time talking about dumb shit already. So, first off, we're going to look at prices. Now, I'd like to say something, and I know I'm going to get a lot of shit from this, so I don't care what you say in your comment. I'm not going to, I'm probably not going to answer you, so just deal with it. It's not because I don't like you, it's just because everyone irritates me equally. The Etha is marketed as an entry-level marker, okay? Now that means it's for new players, okay? New players! Not a tournament-level marker. Not like the Axe. See the Axe? Axe box? Yeah. This is a tournament-level marker. It's marketed like that. That's why Excessive and Infamous use it. I know there's more teams that use it, but I can't remember for the life of me right now what they are, and I don't want to make myself look stupid. It's a tournament level marker, okay? Designed for tournaments. Etha? I don't have one. My friend has one, swears by it. Not a tournament level marker. Don't like it. Um, but yeah. Etha. Four hundred dollars. That's how much it's retailing for. Axe is still about four sixty. Um, I would pay the extra sixty bucks for an axe if you want consistent performance. Get an axe. I love my axe. There's almost no gun I'd pick over it. So um, I have some points written down. Um, yeah. So my first point, obviously, the ooh, excuse me. Axe is a tournament level marker. Ethan is not. Remember that. So, if you, you know, a bunch of new kids are going to get an Etha. Have fun. Don't try to show it off at the field. You have a gun with a battery in it and a solenoid. Whatever, bro. You don't have a tournament level gun, so don't be proud of it. Don't be proud of it anyway, because it's an Etha! Second, Etha doesn't shoot really brittle paint. I know I'm going to get comments. Probably not, because no one watches my freaking channel. But,. People say that the Ether shoots brittle paint. I don't believe it. My friend has an Ether. Barely shoots premium. At our last tournament, I was afraid that I was going to be the only one on the freaking three-man team that was going to be able to shoot the... Well, me and my friend Kenneth, who both have axes, were the only ones that were going to be able to shoot our guns. Don't like the Ether. Not made for shooting brittle paint. Even though, like my third point says, it is a spool valve gun. Let me make that abundantly clear. A lot of people don't know what the Etha is. It is a spool valve hybrid. Not an inline hybrid like the Axe. It's a spool valve hybrid, meaning it's a spool valve, but it behaves in certain ways like a poppet. Just like how the Axe is an inline poppet valve, but it's a hybrid because it has some spool valve qualities. Um... Just some obvious aesthetics on the Etha. It is a macro line marker, 
obviously. It has a front grip regulator, and that regulator is the same as the Geo 2.1 reg, the, uh, you know, EO 11 regulator, the same on the SLS, CSL, all that. They're all the same regulator. So it's not like they made up some crappy reg and just for the Eva. It's a good reg. I'll give them that. But that's because Planet Eclipse uses that reg on everything, and they have pretty good regulators. Uh, second, it's a toolless bolt just like the axe. Now, I like the axe better because if I, you know, I can't over-tighten my axe bolt, I just turn it. It comes right out. With the Etha, you over-tighten it. If you use a tool to tighten it down, when you get on the field, you're going to need a tool to take it out. It, with the axe, I can degas while I'm in a game. I've done it. I've, like, double-fed a ball or something, and I broke one, or my eyes got stuck, or whatever. I degassed it, popped the bolt out, shook the gun, did whatever I had to do to get whatever was in the way, popped the bolt back in, and went right back to fucking, just fucking shit up. Like I do. Yeah. Um, another point, they both have clamping feed necks. A lot of people swear by the Planet Eclipse feed necks. I got the nano neck for my axe. Uh, yeah. Stock, the, uh, the Eth is probably a little better than the axe feed neck. I only say that because the stock axe feed neck, it comes, uh, when it comes, it's got this, uh, I, the most I could equate it is to, like, uh, a grip tape pattern almost like on the top of a skateboard it's like a, a grip so when you pull your loader out even if you loosen your feed neck what happens is it's gonna strip out your feed neck on your loader not on not on this feed neck but your loader you know I have a rotor uh, and it shaved the outside of the feed neck so my feed necks really thin now so you know that's one thing that that's probably the only thing about the axe I didn't like was the feed neck and no one ever likes feed necks. Um, consistency, the Etha gets. I you know I don't. I don't believe in. Um, fuck, what is it? I don't believe in efficiency tests. I really don't. I could give. I I could care less about my efficiency. Like, I mean, I want something that's efficient, duh. But I'm on the field for only five minutes okay in the league that I play I'm on the field for at most five minutes in that five minutes I'm not gonna be able to even shoot eight pods of paint let alone who's gonna run out on the field with eight pods of paint on their back I'm just saying not a lot of people do that unless you're in the freaking PSP and you wanna win the match and you're gonna sit there and just fucking Russian Legion double at home and just dump paint down the other end but it's just impractical and that's my view on efficiency tests. But, um, yeah. Just because I know that somebody's going to want to know, and a lot of people always want to know, the Etha gets less than 8 pods uh, per 4,500 PSI, and the Axe gets around 10 or 11. So, the Axe is... Even though the Etha's got the Ego Regulator, the Axe, you know, kind of wins in that department. Now, I am too lazy to weigh my axe, and mine's not stock weight because I changed the bolt on the board, and I'm sure somebody's going to be like, oh, you're missing like an ounce from the bolt on the board. I don't freaking care, okay? You go look up how much the axe weighs, and you tell me. I don't like the Etha. I don't want nothing to do with it. But uh, it weighs 2.1 pounds, so it's a, it's a light marker. Uh, yeah, light marker. The Etha has crappy grips, okay? Now the Axe, I'm not going to praise the grips on it, but they're tacky, like I like them. They're perfect, like you could hold it light and it doesn't really twist. My fingers aren't sliding. If my hands were wet, I could grab this gun and hold on to it great. Even the Etha, you can hold on to that gun, and if your hands are wet, you could hold it. But the grips just feel weird. They've got these weird lines going down them, and the grips are like this thick. And they're not good plastic. They're not, not plastic. They're not good rubber. Now, they're not plastic. They look like plastic, which is one thing. But when you grab them, the rubber on them feels all dried out and crappy. That's what I don't like about it. 
Um, the Geo, or not the Geo, the Etha does have an Oops ASA, which is kind of nice. You know, the Axe has the, oh, computer went to sleep. The Axe has the Flip ASA, which I prefer over the Oops. I've used the Oops. I have no problem with it. I just like the Axe. I, I wish that, honestly, all regs were. I like the Oops and the Pops. That's the only kind. Shut up! Stupid ass alarm went off. The Oops and the Axe. Uh, no, not the Oops. The Axe and the Pops ASA that come on the Geos and the Egos now are the only kind of uh, on off ASAs that I really like. Um, one thing I do want to point out that I do like about the Etha is it comes with a bright LED interface board. Now, anyone with an axe knows that it's easy to manage. Uh, anyone with a newer axe, you know, I have the older model axe. Uh, anyone with a newer axe knows that your board comes with two dip switches now, and you just go in there. You don't even need to take the cover off the board really anymore. You just gotta hold down the power button and scroll through your modes. It's almost like setting a virtue board, which I bought. Because they're badass. But yeah, new axe. Honestly, it's easier than the Etha. Either way, get a board that's badass, because then you don't have to memorize colors or anything, which I hated doing. But the only thing I'm going to say is with the axe, you only needed to memorize two colors. That was red and green. Okay? That was firing mode and balls per second. That's all you needed to mem remember, unless you wanted to go in there and mess with your dwell and everything like I did because I'm a gun freak. Um, my last point, the Etha has a plastic trigger. I've shot it. It feels weird and gross. It's a micro switch, so that's the only reason that I would ever mention it. Um, you know, Axe, micro switch, very nice metallic trigger, metal, heavy, has weights. Um, I like the Axe swoop the swoop of the X trigger better than the Etha. A lot of people say the Etha trigger is like the Ego or the Geo trigger. I disagree. You can fight me on that. My friend has Geo. I play with Etha. I play with Egos in my shop all the time. I play with Geos in my shop all the time. And I have my own Axe! And I play with my friend's Etha! Axe wins. Please comment, subscribe, ask me any questions you want, and... If you don't piss me off too much, I'll answer you. Thank you for watching the Axe Etha Debate.